and welcome to 16 Minutes of Life Experience with me, Summer, and my first recurring guest, Brooke. Besides me, I'm the recurring guest all the time, but um, <laughs> today we got quite a doozy for you. We are going to be debating and discussing, some of them are debates because we disagree on it, some of them are discussing of popular trends and just opinions in general. We have two topics. We have social media and fashion, and we're just gonna talk about it and from the opinion of two kind of different college students. I yeah. feel like we we like different things, so it's just, yeah. Um, anyways, before we get started, I just wanna give a disclaimer that these are our opinions. They're by no means factual, and I'm not saying they're fact. If you like, low-waisted jeans then that is your prerogative <laughs> i hope you find a pair that fit well and you rock them but they're just our opinions and this is all for fun so don't get mad at me in the comments <laughs> okay. so like i said we're going to start with social media and when you think of social media and how it has like developed and changed in the last 10 years there's like one like dominant thing that has changed now versus 10 years ago and that is an influencer and like I guess we should start off by saying what is an influencer to you because I don't even know like I just hear that word and I'm just like what does that even mean what are you influencing what is your job like I am a fan of the bachelor and <laughs> yes. basically I feel like influencers would were born from The Bachelor because it became a thing where they had this huge following and so with this huge following people realize that there's an opportunity for advertising mm -hmm. so I follow quite a few influencers because like I don't know I have people that I like and if they are an influencer it's not like a bad thing but I think their goal is basically they are the advertising for these products mm -hmm. and they reach a different audience than say TV commercials would nowadays. That is so true about The Bachelor, though. Like, I feel like people just used to go on there for just whatever, just for an adventure. But now they go on there because they're like, if I get popular and I get enough followers, mm -hmm. I can sell the Sugar Bear gummies on my <laughs> Instagram. And then I feel like after that, like, it just has spread, like, other contestants on other shows. Like, I know there's yeah. a lot of influencers who come from, like, Big Brother yeah. and, 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 like, Survivor as mm -hmm. well. But now it is spread to TikTok, where, like, TikTok is the birth of an influencer. Which yeah. is, again, like, I don't really know how to define what an influencer is, what their job is, besides to just, like, I don't know, document their lives and, and sell yeah. leggings on their Instagram. <laughs> I like, feel like their job... I don't even know... I don't even... I feel like their only job is advertising as part of, like, the monetary... Yeah, like, way. yeah. And I know as soon, if you get a certain number of followers, your posts get monetized. Like, yeah. on, that's how it is on YouTube and TikTok. Like, TikTok mm -hmm. has the creator fund and, and whatever. Yeah. It just, like, shocks me how some people can just, like, offhandedly do a dance on TikTok. And now they're living in L.A. Have their own TV show. Have their own TV mm -hmm. show. Yeah, and I'm that's not. Ridiculous the thing is, like, I'm not. shoes, and I got lucky like that. I wouldn't turn down the money, <laughs> like... So I can be as, as, like, jealous as I want. Like, I can't believe you did a d dance on TikTok and now you're famous. But the reality is if I were in their shoes and I did a dance on TikTok and I got famous, I would do everything I can to make that my career as well. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be like, ah, oh, no, it's okay. Keep that millions of dollars. Like, I want to make a career the old-fashioned way. Like, I'd be yeah. like, I'll, I'll do any dance on TikTok for this money, you know. Like, so I don't yeah. just like, say an influencer is bad, but it's just, like... It's strange to me to imagine the idea of having to record yourself and what you're doing and take Snapchats of and TikToks of every single place you go. Like, I feel like sometimes what I like to do is just go do something and not take any pictures or not t post it on social media at all and just like really experience it. But like, I feel like with um, social media, you're really like living for other people instead of for yourself. And I'm just interested to see like the effects on people's mental health that's going to have. I feel like there's good and bad that comes with it. Mm -hmm. I think obviously there's things that influencers do that annoy me, but I also still follow some of them. I feel like I tend to follow people more if they are more like real in their stuff. Like if they show more of their daily life, yeah. like 
that's them just like hang out or talk about normal things uh-huh. rather than just ad after ad after ad because that does get annoying. It, and yeah. like if I like the person and I get to know them from their Instagram, I feel like then I want to support them by liking their posts instead. Yeah. Because I'm like, okay, you're not just all about the money. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like that's just annoying. Yeah. And you're like it makes you want to, oh, I'll use your code so you get a little commission. Yeah. It's like I want this thing anyway, so I'll support you. But exactly. um, I just I don't really know how to feel. That's my my answer is that I'm undecided on on influencers again because like if I got lucky and was able to do something like that for a job, I probably would. But anyways, let us know in the comments what your opinion is on the influencer. Do you think they're valid? Do you think they should all be stopped immediately? Do you want to be one? Do you want to oh, be one? Are you an aspiring influencer? Mm-hmm. Let us know. In the okay, comments. next topic in the social media bubble is mm-hmm. Snapchat. And I guess we should start I... off like about our experiences with Snapchat. How long have you been using Snapchat? Since sixth grade. Me too. Yeah. That is. I feel like everybody got it at the same time for especially eight our class. years. Eight years That's of Snapchat. Eight years. Um, about like four years of enjoyable. About, like, four <laughs> Literally. Years of, like... I really don't use Snapchat that much. I I send. One Snapchat to the people that I talk to. Yeah, talk to. And then I don't open it until the next the morning next day. when I send my one Snapchat. <laughs> I have deleted Snapchat so many times. But there's a couple things that keep me from just like axing it. First of all, so many of my Snapchat memories are on there. Yeah. And it's like fun every morning to go in and be like, oh, See here's your three years ago. Okay, today. I do like the memories. I, I think, okay. I wouldn't delete it because it doesn't take up a lot of my time. Mm-hmm. Like, I do only send the one a day. I mean, mm-hmm. it's annoying that I send the one. But, like, I don't know. Sometimes I forget to do it until, like, yeah. And noon. Yeah. That's like, another thing I don't want to delete it is because a lot of people, I don't have their numbers. I have their Snapchats. Right. So, like, when I delete it, I just get anxiety. I'm like, what if they're trying to contact me <laughs> and they can't because I own, like, I don't have them on Facebook. I don't have their numbers. Yeah. I don't have their Instagram. I only have them on Snapchat. Yeah. And I don't want to be that person who's, like, going off snap hit me up <laughs> on this number like because anytime anyone puts that on i'm like the, you're gonna be back in a week and well, they always and are I'm like, the people that need to get a hold of you have your number yeah that's true I but mean, like i have some people like me. old friends and stuff like i guess that's from when i was younger like softball and like a bunch of stuff and i'm just like afraid to let go of it but yeah snapchat is a waste of time i guess we could do this whole video where it's just like Social media is, yeah. is I mean, I exhausting. Think everything there's good and a bad. I think Snapchat sucks because there's like no really entertainment value at all. Like, I get entertained by stories. I mean, I guess, but like, I rather I think see. Stories are so funny. But you know how the Snapchat discovery page? Do you ever go on no, there? It's literally I like don't. magazines at the checkout line where it's like. Jennifer yeah. Aniston caught cheating. It's like that, fake, but so much worse. Time. Yeah, pretty close to deleting it again, but I know I'll have it back within a week. I'm I haven't even post on my Snapchat that much. Like on my Snapchat story, I think I've maybe I've posted three things in the last nine months. Yeah, yeah. But like, I keep it more to be a viewer than a yeah. Than a poster. In conclusion, Snapchat is dumb. It's dumb, but. Will I stop using it? No. Not until everybody else <laughs> That's does. the story of my life. I know it's dumb, but I'm not going to stop. Okay, today. our next social media, our final social media topic is TikTok. Um, okay. About TikTok, about three years ago, I remember I was in my gym class, and Mr. Mendolia, our gym teacher, was like, okay, we're, we're going to go to the gym, and then three girls were like, we're going to stay here. And he's like, why? And he said, we're going to make TikToks. That was the first time I ever heard of TikTok. And I literally walked in on them, like, doing the, like, the, just the TikTok dance. I was like, what is that? And they're like, have you ever heard of Musical.ly? And I was like, no. And now TikTok has dominated my life. So I wish I could go back to when I didn't know what it is. <laughs> but Way back in the day, when it first came around, that people were, like, actually using it because uh-huh. i feel like for it was a was, joke it was like well i thought it was dumb i thought it was really really stupid in some parts that. it is really stupid but some of it's also really funny so i was like a hater for a long time i feel like i'm so stubborn that it's my thing to be a hater of some things especially for a long period of yeah. time 
But I finally gave in on this one because somebody sent me one that I was like, okay, that's actually really funny. Uh-huh. And I was like, I need to see more. So for a while I watched TikTok without having an account uh-huh. because I was like, no, I'm like, I'm not Refuse. doing this. Mm-hmm. I'm like addicted so, to TikTok. Like everyone does. <laughs> like ruins my sleeping, like just terrible. Mm-hmm. So when I started college, now two years ago, basically, I was like, I'm getting rid of this. I'm like, I need uh-huh. to focus on school. Uh-huh. I'm like, this is not good. So I got rid of it and I got it back. But I was like, okay, you have to set limits for yourself. So I personally have a limit of a half hour on weekdays and an hour on weekend days. So like Saturday and Sunday is an hour and the rest of the days are 30 minutes. This keeps me under control because I'm not allowed to snooze it for the whole day. Like when your screen limits come up or yeah, your time it's like limits, 15 minutes. One yeah, minute. it's like 15 minutes, one more minute or ignore, ignore it for the day. day. I never ignore for the day. But it also just makes me more aware of the time that I'm spending on TikTok because after that 15, I click 15 more minutes and then it goes by and I'm like, I just spent 15 more minutes on this and it felt like a minute. It felt like, like I'm like, is, okay. TikTok is like the one part in the Percy Jackson where they go into the casino oh, yeah. and they come out and it's been like a week. No, or, that's, that's such that's a good That's what analogy TikTok is. Because, because literally you can be on it. And, like, hours are passing by. That's the thing, like, that TikTok does. It gets so personalized for you. Like, like weirdly personalized. Like, like how does, it know this, like how does this know this one specific situation that has happened to me? And that's every video. Like, you're just scrolling and you're like, oh, this is, it's, like, perfectly catered to you. And, obviously, that's what they're trying to do. And TikTok, if you're watching this, you're doing it. And it sucks because it's, like, I... I have gotten into the habit of when I'm like doing my homework or something, I'll just have like a, my brain will stop for a second. I'll just immediately go on TikTok to like, I don't know, like it, it just makes me brain dead. And I go through phases of like, I'll have it and then I'll delete it and then I'll have it. Right now I'm trying to use it because people say it's really good to promote yes. your books. I am. Speaking one of, of all to darkness.com, check them out. Promote them on YouTube too. Yeah. Um, but like then I just, I'll make TikToks for my book and it'll take me like half an hour or whatever. And I'll just feel like, why did I just waste a half an hour of my life to make that? And it just Content. like, yeah. And then sometimes I just don't understand what blows up versus what doesn't. Like it's I will so see random. the funniest TikToks and they'll have like 200 likes. And then there's just someone like lip syncing a popular song and it has a million. I'm like, they're not even doing anything. They're just lip syncing. Like, it's the same thing with, like, influencers. I'm like, what are you actually doing that is making you skilled in some way? I mean, some of them, like, I guess, like, athletes and stuff. But, like, I don't know, man. TikTok is confusing. But TikTok is all jokes, though. Like, to me, like, I don't like when people take it seriously. Oh, I'm my like, gosh. It's all jokes. jokes. Oh. Like, also, a conclusion lot. is TikTok is addicting, but if you can find a way to control it, it's funny. Yes. So. It's it's good when you have to be in the bathroom for a long time. When I do, it's like, me, but. overnight, like, drives on the way back from my mom and dad's house, I'll use TikTok to keep me awake. So that helps You're them. not driving, right? No. Okay. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Summer, no, not. No, I'm not. I don't TikTok. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. There's going to be signs. Don't, don't TikTok, TikTok and drive. drive. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Because people are like, I'm sure it's going to come to a point where people are going to be TikToking and driving. Driving, yeah. Like, not watching, making. Making TikToks. Making TikToks. It probably is. Dancers. Remember the the trend where you, oh, it was that one Drake song, and you got out of your car and, like, ran next to it while it was going straight. Do you remember that? I know the one Drake song where you get out of your car, but it should be parked as far as what I've seen. Okay, I, I will probably do more research and then cut here Click and bait. show the clickbait Drake song on TikTok Yes. <laughs> I am going to Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. I am going to make that the title now. So yeah. clickbait. <laughs> Alright. Clickbait headlines. In conclusion, TikTok sucks. <laughs> Kind but of, we love it. But we also love but it. But control it. But yes. Be disciplined. Let us know what you think of TikToks. Also, go follow my TikTok. <laughs> yeah, go follow her TikTok. Go follow her TikTok. Make some good ones. Yes. I-